property market often slows down over the festive season, but there are always people who will still be motivated to buy and sell. And you may be one of these people and wondering what the best way to go about it is. Well, property apprentice owner and financial advisor Debbie Roberts is here, thankfully for you. Um, Debbie, is this a good time or if people are in it and they have to do it now anyway, is that okay? Yeah, I think it's it's especially a good time if you're a buyer. You know, we've, we're in a period where there are increasing interest rates and more interest rates expected to be increasing next year. So if you're buying now, before the next round of increase, you can lock in mm. lower interest rates, which are still about the same as what the long-term average interest rate is. So yeah, that's the first thing. Um, so one of the biggest challenges about buying and selling over the festive season is trying to work out what a good settlement date is. <laughs> Yeah. You've got to check with your lawyer, you've got to check with uh, the real estate agents, you've got to check with, if you're a purchaser, you've also got to check with your building inspectors, drug testers, all that sort of stuff. That they're, well, and but you've got to check working. that people are going to be back at work when that's happening. Yeah, Absolutely. so do, doing do, due, due diligence, diligence yes. will be tricky. Yeah, it can be. So you've got to factor all of that in, you know, and, um, and just line up your settlement dates for a, a time that can work. But, you know, there will be people that will be motivated to sell this side of Christmas. Mm. Uh, they won't necessarily need to settle, but a lot of people just with the financial stress might just want to know that that deal's been done, you know, so that they can go into the into the festive season feeling a bit more relaxed about the future. And for people who are looking at purchasing their first home, get a pre-approval now before interest rates increase further because that'll increase the, you know, the difficulty of getting a mortgage approved test your affordability at higher interest rates than we've got at the moment, but lock those interest rates in. You know, as soon as you've got a property under contract, as soon as possible, lock in those interest rates with your mortgage advisor and, you know, look at some of the longer term interest rates because, you know, no one's expecting interest rates to still be increasing in a year or two from now. Mm -hmm. So you could lock in lower ones and then when they come up for refixing, you could refix at a lower rate. Because if you get pre-approval now too, that, that will last for some time as well, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, yep, at least three months. Yeah. So yeah, and you may have to reapply after three months, but it gives you a good chunk of time to go house hunting while everyone else is in the shopping malls. Yeah. <laughs> when yeah. does the stock come back on? Because I've been watching it closely. You know it tapers off because no one wants to be selling over Christmas and everyone's away on holiday. When does that stock really start hitting the market again? It's it, The market usually picks up about middle of January. Right. So, you know, we've got this window of opportunity from now through till the middle of January where there are less buyers in the market. Mm. You know, if you're an Auckland first home buyer, for example, there's not going to be many people staying in Auckland. They'll all be heading for the yeah. holiday areas, you know. So, so less so competition. Less competition. Get in there. Yeah. Get amongst it. <laughs> uh, property apprentice owner and financial advisor, Debbie Roberts. Debbie, thank you so much. Um, before we head off to the break, Nikki, is there any update on the football? There certainly is. It's been very, very exciting, and I'm looking at the wrong camera, but here we go. It's just uh, approaching half time now between Argentina and Croatia, and Argentina are now 2 0 up. Fantastic run from Julian Alvarez. It ran about 80 metres, took out the defender, kicked it straight into the goal. So, there we gonna go. be a hard road for Croatia to come back from here. Very nice. Debbie, thank you for being with us this year as well. We love having you on our show. Your insights, your analysis, we appreciate it. A little card there for you, and a little. Biscuit as well. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Just one biscuit. Oh, no, that's Merry lovely. Christmas. Well, I won't share that. <laughs> no, no. You guys, make sure you share the chocolate. Oh, oh yes, thank you. Everyone. Thanks, Debbie. Thanks so much. 13 away from nine now.